Now I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is a, it's a variant or a CDC version of a fly they call the Taboo Caddis Emerger. Now I don't, normally you would use Chickaboo, a Brahma Chickaboo to tie the fly, dyed tan. Yeah, I don't have that, but I'm going to be tying it using CDC, so you, you'll like it. It's a nice pattern and uh, it's reasonably easy to tie. Now, I'm using two colours of CDC, meaning, well, they're basically cinnamon, but one's a light cinnamon, one's a dark cinnamon, you can see them there. Now, to get the dark CDC colour of the, this one, I put these feathers in first and allow the dye to take, and it, to, it, goes, it goes much stronger than cinnamon. But while these are still in, and they're taking most of the dye, then I throw in some more white CDC, and this takes what's remaining of the dye, so you get two colours, you get a lovely colour, a light and a dark, so it's quite simple to tie. Now I'm going to remove, I've cut away the CDC from two or three feathers, and made a dubbing, this is the light and this is the dark. That's going to be for the thorax and the lights for the body. Now when I trim the CDC feather, as you can see here, I've left the tip, this is for a hackle. You can see I'm out of the CDC I've trimmed away. And I've done this both with the dark and the light. Now for the tail, as I say, I need one of those feathers. But first I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put, add a tiny bit of weight to the fly. And I'm just going to use some copper wire. It's really easy to tie. I'll just uh, add on. Now the hook I'm using, this is a, a size 12 curved nymph hook. It's like a stimulator hook. Now I've got the copper wire. I'm going to start it down, I would say about a third of the way down, just there, and then wind it on like the same way you'd wind thread on. And I'm going to come down to about, say, halfway in the body, which is there. The waist piece, just take it back, make sure you've got a good length in that. And then continue down until just short to the point of the hook. Then I'm going to work my way back up. This will help give you a taper, you see. Now once you meet your waist piece, bind both together. Now I'm just a bit short here. Another turn or two. That's it. And then wind the say both together. And this will thicken it up and give you a nice taper. And obviously add a wee bit of weight. Get this point here, right into the inside of your scissors, you can trim that away to get a neat cut. Just roll it around so it's flush with the hook. Now what I'm going to do to protect that, I'm going to wee bit of super glue all the way around. And this will secure the, the wire to the hook. Thread I'm going to be using, I'm using a tan thread and this is UTC number 70. I'm going to run the wax through the first so, 6 inches or so. Start at the eye and then just work your way down. All the way to the back. This point here, then I'll remove the base piece. Now I'm going to wind the thread until I'm in line with the barb of the hook. Is there. Now this is a light coloured CDC, as you see the I've kept the tip for the for the tail. Just tie that on very short and then to check the length, that's fine. Just run this up until we meet the, the copper wire, which is there, and trim away the waist. Now the rib of the fly I'm gonna be using jewellery makers use this. It's called Strong and stretch, and this is size is 0.8. Now it's just clear, now you get it in different colours. Take a length off. What we do is cut it into a point, into the scissors, and cut it so it's tapered. Just check that it's long enough, and it's fine. Now, a wee bit of wax on the thread, need the extra grip. Catch the tip of this. And as we get two or three turns in, we start, start to stretch it. Hope it. Hopefully it's cut along enough that you reach the back. 
which is there. And then we get my light CDC dubbing. Very easy to double in this. It's very soft and mobile. Makes for a really nice, nice body. Especially good in dims. Now, as we double on, we just tighten up when we need to and work our way up, forming a nice taper on the body. Is that black there? I don't want that. If you need to add more, which I might do, just a tiny bit more. Slide it up. Now you want to be at least two thirds of the way up. That's fine. Now, you'll see how the rib is quite thick. To get it started, what I like to do is get the hair dryer and heat it up. Just switch the, heat, the hair dryer on. And this will stretch. We take it in by half. Makes it easier to wind up. And then we just work our way up. And then we just check that first turn. See what it's like. Now I want it to be a bit tighter than that, so I'm just going to pull it a wee bit tighter. There you go, it says just onto the hook. And then we work our way up. Just take your time. Now, for this size, I've not really counted, there's about 8 turns here as far as I can see. Draw back these fibres. Bring up against the thread, and then we can tighten up. Bit of time. Turn away the waist. Now continue down so that you encourage the taper towards the eye, and then work your way back up. Now, I've got one of the darker. This is this, the dark cinnamon, which I'm going to use as a hackle. Get the fibre length that you, length that you want, and I'm just looking to take away what I don't need. You only need a couple of turns, or even a turn's enough. Just draw this back. Tip. So I'm using hackle pliers to, just to locate the tip. And then, come in with two or three turns, fold it back. And there's a tip there, we can turn that away. And I'm just going to put a wee bit of wax on the thread. And then a couple of turns, and then wind your hackle on. Just wind it as you do any hackle. Nice straight turns. You're only going to get a couple of turns, that's, that's just plenty. Follow it up, and then secure it. Away the waist. Again, always thinking of the taper. Bring your thread back up now. Just touch your wax. It allows you to put a nice base of thread down with plenty of grip. At this point, we can check one of We can check the body and the legs. Now, if these are, feel these are too long, you can always break one or two off, but these are these are fine. Now, for the wing, and these are this is a some rump feathers. From Apache skin. Uh, just the bottom feathers are very soft and chickaboo like, but they've got a nice mark on it. I'm just going to remove some of the fluff at the bottom and then roll it within my fingers. Just give the impression of the wing. Tips towards the back of the hook, hold them nice and tight. Check the length at this point, it's sitting nice. It's okay, just got a wee bit of wax on my thread here so that it sticks well. We can trim away. Now, what I'm going to do before I head down and tidy this up, I'm going to tie in some horns. These are bronze mallard fibres. I'm just going to use a couple, bring them off the feather, and then tie one either side of the wing. You don't need to do this, but I like to see the horns on them, on these especially. That's fine. You want it twice the length of the wing or so is enough. We touch of wax just on that first inch or so. 
then run it down. So if I now just base the thread down, you can break these off now. Now for this point here up, I'm going to wind in the cinnamon CDC, the dark cinnamon in this case. Now you could use a dark dubbin if you don't have this. Uh, you can use whatever you like. Something nice and soft. And I'm going to work the dubbin from the, the eye up and then come back down with a nice thick thorax. Take your time when you're doing this. Just see where we are. I need a bit more to get back down. Nothing goes to waste when you're tying one of these flies like this. So just think of the shape that you're looking for. Right down towards the eye. Draw back any fibres going forward. Two or three turns to hold. Now what I'm going to do here is tie my varnish on my thread. And that finish. One, two, three, four, five. And then trim away. And there we are. And that's it. That's your taboo cardus merger. Done with the CDC.